Yo, what's going down, Dude Brown, and what is going up, Peanut Butter Cup? Today we're going to splip, <laughs> bludgeon <laughs> and a scrapbook together. Uh, I'm going to start taking them apart. Yeah, we're going to flip, make a fan mode, you know. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me today again, my friends. Dude, if you guys watch uh, my channel regularly and uh, you hear the shorts and the, the long form video and stuff, there's a lot of times where I'm just like giggling or like holding in a laugh because, dude, I'm such a cornball. And I'm just laughing at my own content all the time, dude. My wife is just shaking her head. One time it was, I was making something, uh, a new build while watching one of my videos. And she was like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm just trying to see like how the video is hitting, you know? I was like, I just got to see if it turned out okay. And he's just like, yeah. She's like, this is some kind of weird inception. I was like, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, I was going to say, um, in the build that you're going to see, which is a, I can't get this to tab, okay, which is going to be like this jet wing bludgeon, um, this, you're not really going to see too much, uh, dude, there's something, something wrong, why, why can't I get the clearance for this, um, you are going to see in this build that, that this is not going to be used, however, there is a way to incorporate it, I just didn't think I just did, yeah. I just didn't think that it looked, um, I don't know, particularly useful, so I so I've left it out. So in the initial form, um, we're not going to include it, and then afterward, we are going to um, include it. Yeah, I'll just show you. My bad, folks. I'm doing a juice fast today, and uh, I'm a little low on energy, so just bear with me. Um, so we're taking that middle bit. And if you're wondering why I'm doing a juice fast, well, it's because I ate like a pig yesterday. I ate like a savage barbarian pig, not just a normal pig, savage barbarian pig. Uh, so I want to kind of clean out my system. But also, it's a great exercise in impulse control. Yeah, it's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, and what I mean by that is, uh, you know... If you do enough fasting, you get used to not responding to the impulse of um, hunger pangs. Like, gotta eat, gotta eat, gotta eat, gotta eat, gotta eat. Because if you just, because your body's kind of designed to detect when you're low on sugar. But, you know, in this modern age, you're not going to die if you skip a meal or something like that. Um, so it helps you with that particular impulse control, which then you can apply to other areas of your life as well, not just related to food. Anything that's potentially impulsive that you want greater command over, you can apply that as well. So fasting is an incredible tool. Yeah, it's it's so good. It's so good. I mean, yeah, I'm a little bit salty right now because I'm like, dude, there's food all around me. Um, I'm, I'm recording this stuff at work per usual. And like, dude, the work refrigerator is stocked. It's brimming with food. <laughs> and I just want to grub, mega grub right now. And uh, I got to pick up my wife later. And um, she's going to be uh, in this area that got hella food, hella Korean food, my favorite. And I'm going to want to grub, but um, I will not. But yeah, it's good for impulse control. But yeah, here we go. You see what I did? We took the middle bit of bludgeon and then we added the scrap hook legs, added the scrap hook arms, and in the finish, yeah. In his fists, he's holding the the little shin blasters, and then we have the um the bludgeon bazooka thingies. Uh, we'll attach that in a sec. So for bludgeon, I really like the tarn mold, by the way. Um, and I hope they do more with. It. I I don't know who else they could do, but I did. Yeah, you know what? I would love if they did the fallen, not Bavers you know, Pharaoh Fallen, but like the old school fire brimstone tank Fallen. I would love that, dude. Um, but I like this mold a lot. I think it's very streamlined. Um, it's very sleek. And I've heard people, I've seen people online and heard people criticize it. And that's fine. You're, you're allowed to criticize whatever you want. But for me personally, I really do dig this mold. I hope we get a shattered glass version. I mean, of course, I have the the what is it the one of a kind shattered glass one done by neo labs but yeah dude i wouldn't mind if we got another one just to officially hit the shelves and so all right so this is what he looked like right now his legs are a little bit loose maybe i need to add some kiki to get that tight so we put the little thrusters on the side give him some like hermes hermes wings um we have the the the, 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 the spike tire on one side we have the toe bit on the other side, 
And then we have the back, it's like, <laughs> and so that's the look. And um, I think he looks good. Hold on, let me get him in a nice pose. Don't fall down. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Yeah. But now we still have that pesky little um, torso, that block. What are we going to do with this? So, you know, we're looking for pegs, right? Because we need to adhere him to this build. And so we see one right there. And so what I did previously... Tribiosity, as I speak in the thick Korean accent, Tribiosity, um, I think what I did was, see, I'm not even remembering right now. I think I just did that. And, um, you know, sometime, sometimes, and a lot of times, asymmetry is okay. Uh, in this one, I don't know, man. He just looked like he got diaper butt or something, dude. <laughs> But uh, that's where I ended up putting it. Um, had I used a Bumblebee Bazooka, maybe I could have expanded on that. But at the same time, there aren't any... Um, he doesn't have pegs that go directly symmetrically down. He has, you know, he has two on one side, he has two on the other. And there isn't one that goes directly down. I can't think of that word right now. Like just right down the middle, you know, like, like some of the other bots would um, down their backpack. And so, yeah, you can kind of say it's some weird back thruster thing, but I think it's just going to make him super back heavy like that. And again, it just looks like diaper. Um, another thing that I did was um, I got this bit because there's also ooh, 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 almost hurt his sword. There's this bit. There's like a peg there. And so what we can potentially do is, and at this point we're kind of experimenting right now. This is just kind of not scripted. So I'm not really sure if clearance will work properly and stuff like that, but we's just missing. Uh, so if I put that there, I mean, potentially, we could have it like that. And this I would need to thicken up, but uh, I wonder if there's clearance. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not, but... Alright, so maybe I, if I open this up... By the way, I don't think this is going to be particularly successful, but uh, we're just we're just having fun. Yeah, I mean I don't like I don't like the fact that it's not centered. But that's what it would look like on the back. And um I wish it was centered. If it was, I think it'd be a little bit more acceptable. Uh just to me at least. Can I wedge it between here? No, not quite. Well, anyway, going back to what I did a second ago. Like that. Yeah, that's just too much. It's just way too much just hanging off the back over here. And so, no, I'm not okay with that. Another thing we could potentially do is... And by the way, for those of you who watched all, the entire full length of the video, I know you guys have to sit through ads and stuff, so I'm sorry about that. But I thank you so much, by the way, because those ads uh, provide revenue. And so, um, yeah, I appreciate your patience for that. Really, I do. Um, because especially the ones, for those of you who watch all the way to the end, like you guys are really the ones um, that contribute towards the YouTube algorithm, seeing that this is a worthwhile video to watch. And the fact that you're, you, you guys, the, the MVPs, the most valuable players are being subje subjected to the most ads. Um, I don't feel great about that, um, but there's nothing really I can do. So I just want to say thanks. I right, forget it, dude. We're not going to include it. <laughs> we're not, we're not going to include it. I mean, again, I could use like Bumblebee bits, perhaps the bazooka and do certain things, but I don't really think it adds too much to it. But um, if any of you, if any of you, excuse me can do something uh, with it. 
and you feel like you got something meaningful, by all means, let me know, and perhaps we'll share it on the channel and put on a show. Um, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. All right, I got nothing else. Cool. So, Jetwing Bludgeon minus the Scrap Hook Torso. A very, very, very easy build that you can pull off if you have these bits at home. And uh, if you'd like, go ahead and try, and I will talk to you again another day or night. All right, I'm just running on fumes. I got nothing. Talk to you soon. Bye.